Good morning world, my family is getting ready to leave the Philippines and I'm going to be here by myself for about a month. Story is saying goodbye to one of her friends whose family owns this little surf shop in Pacifico which is in the north of Shargao Island. It's really cool in here. She was on her lunch break from school so we had the perfect opportunity to catch up and have a look at this place. We haven't actually filmed it yet. <laughs> If you are in the area in Shargao Island and you need some surf stuff or you need some clothing, come check it out. We weren't actually planning on coming in here. The main reason why we were in Pacifico is so we could share a last meal together. We are going to be separated for about 26 days in total. Sasha and Story are going back to England to see Nanny and I'm staying here to look after our doggy Poppy. It is now 5.30 in the morning. On the day of their departure I'm feeling pretty sleepy. Didn't get much rest, only three hours or so. At least we're all up nice and early, no one's going to be missing their flight. Airport is quite close by. All got to enjoy one last beautiful sunrise by the ocean here before we are not seeing that for a very long time. Well, I will be. I'm going to be staying here. All the bags are packed. Not too many bags. How are you feeling about everything? Um, I'm sad to leave you. It is a bit weird. It's very weird, but yeah, I'm excited. Story woke up super early, as we all did. And one of the first things she said was, I'm so excited for our trip. So I think it's going to be fun. And we counted up just a little while ago. There's only, what was it, 26 days? Yeah, 26 days. <laughs> and we'll be back. Do you remember crying last night? Yeah. You said you were going to miss me. Yeah. Made me feel... Actually, it made me feel good that you are going to miss me. I'm glad. <laughs> of course we're going to miss you. <laughs> but, of course, we're having three days in Manila as well. So yeah, that's true. We're still going to be in the country on the same time zone for the next few days. Yeah. So we'll ease into the uh, trip. The <laughs> yeah. It actually makes the transition to travelling a lot easier, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, story, you need to get ready. You're sitting in your yeah. pyjamas. Me and Daddy are ready yeah. to go. I'm, I'm ready to leave the door, so <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> I'm going to be using Story's little magnet board here to tally the days. I've already put the first notch on the board until everyone's back together. And how do you feel about all this, Poppy? You look a bit concerned. <laughs> She's been like this all since last night, actually, hasn't she? Bags are out, isn't it? She yeah. knows. You know what bags are, don't you? All dogs do, don't they? It's yeah. weird. Maybe it can sense the change in us. Like maybe we start giving off some. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, we're not normally awake at this time well, as well, yeah. are we? <laughs> it must you be strange. You you're still eating your breakfast. <laughs> Come on, Story, you're going to miss the yeah, plane. You have to go in five minutes, Story. You've got to get dressed. Let's do this. Our Story's getting ready. Let's head down to the beach, watch that sunrise. Nice breezy morning. It feels beautiful out here. What do you think, Poppy? It's gonna be just me and you for a long time. You okay with that? Orange dog. Let's watch the sunrise together. Oh, Poppy's friends are already down at the beach. There's Mikui. That's our say Mary Jane's dog. <laughs> She's walking funny, wagging her tail as she goes. Ah, you want to do wee wee, I see. Let's appreciate that heavenly sunlight. Beautiful. So if you don't know who we are, quick reminder, we're a British family that moved to the Philippines just before the pandemic happened. We've been here for four years and we don't often get a chance to go back to England. It's expensive to travel from Shargao Island back to the UK and obviously it's far away. So we have family visit here sometimes, sometimes we go back. And one of the main reasons why Sasha and Story are going back right now is because they want to see Nanny. And Nanny doesn't travel that much anymore. Nothing wrong with her, she just doesn't really enjoy travel as much as some of the other family members. So it's been over a year and a half since they've seen her. And Story was like five and a half the last time she went back to England. 
and saw Nanny at her house. So she knows they're coming, of course, it's not a surprise visit, but it felt like the right time for Sasha and Story to return to the UK, check in with family, and just enjoy that balance of life that comes when you live abroad. Check out this falcon. It's about to be attacked by this raven attack. Look, here we go. Well, these two birds. All right, I've got Poppy back on the lead. Uh, the sun is getting brighter and hotter. In about an hour's time, this sun is going to be unbearably hot. That's if we don't get loads of cloud cover. So it's, it looks like it's going to be a nice day for travel. Sasha is taking her camera too, so she is planning to update you on the UK trip while I update you on the Philippine side of things. We will split the videos into two and make them into a little bit of a joint adventure. I've got plenty of tasks I can get on with here in the Philippines while waiting for my family to return. And if you're wondering why I'm not going back to the UK to see everybody, it's because my family came to visit us last year. It wasn't that long ago, it was less than a year ago. And some other members of my family are planning to come and visit this year. So it felt like there was less need for me to be there and I can reduce some of the cost of travel by not going and also I can stay here and look after our dog Poppy because otherwise you'd need a pet sitter. Oh it looks like Story has come to join us down at the beach. I'll go see Story. Go! Woohoo! And then let's get out of here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to join me down here. Yeah, we're ready. Ready to go? Yeah, now we're waiting on Poppy. We're like, Come Oh, she's just sprinting back to the house at lightning speed. Come, Pops. Hello. Let's lead you up. Look, did you see her legs? <laughs> Enjoy those legs. It'll be the last time you see them for a while. <laughs> no, you're going to send us lots of pictures. Yeah, I will. Where's story gone? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good start to the trip. We've lost her. I can't even see it. I hear her. Story, let's go. Oh, she's going to see the cats, isn't she? She's going to see the cats. The vegetables. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she went to see the vegetable patch. <laughs> see you in three weeks. See you in three weeks. With a pumpkin growing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the too. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I haven't actually left the airport yet. I'm still here. I didn't want to drive off straight away just in case they contacted me and said, oh, I forgot something. Just quickly drive back. I think it's hard to explain how super weird this is for us because Sasha and I have not been apart for this long for oh, since we were probably in our early 20s. So it's been at least 15 years or so. And uh, we have not been apart for over three weeks since we were like in school days so yeah it's i'm always traveling with them and i'm always like part of the journey i'm always helping out and now obviously i'm just going to be here while they do their journey together which is totally fine it's good to have that healthy time apart i guess we've certainly experienced a lot as a family together i'm reminded of after typhoon odette when we had no internet no phone signal we used to bring the car and park here because this was the only place we could get signal and just standing here now reminds me of those days, all the things that we've gone through. We've got another, I don't know, stay here for another 10, 15 minutes or so. And then I'll head back home to Poppy.
off we go. <laughs> Bye, Shagal. We are early. We're gonna plant 45 minutes early, nearly. We actually left early as well. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Ladies early. and gentlemen, in preparation for descent, your cabin crew Listen will now collect all us. items for disposal. <laughs> Kindly clear your seat oh, presence of any half weather. an hour more. All electronic devices must be switched. <laughs> we're here we just got our bag off the carousel now we're waiting for my dad he's coming to collect us and we're going to head into do some shopping and stuff and spend the day at mall of asia i believe so we're just waiting for granddad now i think i can see it yeah no that's not his car <laughs> we're trying to spot granddad's car now We're just outside Ikea, which is actually where Dad has just gone with Lola Lou's. Story was feeling super duper hungry after the journey, so we've ordered Story some food. I've got a nice cappuccino, and Story's got a hot chocolate coming as well, haven't you? Yeah. That'll fill you up. Ready for our shopping? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Salama, thank you. Salamat. That looks beautiful. It's it good, doesn't like? it? Yeah. The flower in chocolate sauce. <laughs> Story was feeling a bit car sick, weren't you? After yeah. the travel, I think the early morning flight didn't help. And so we did actually have breakfast before we left the house, but she wasn't feeling great, so that's why we've come to get her some food. I'm Nori Power Bowl has arrived. And I am gnawing it down. You're gnawing it down, you are, yeah. Okay, enjoy. I'm going to help you as well. Yep. It's a big bowl, isn't it? Yep. You're going to help me eat it. Story's getting an ice cream. 10 pesos. <laughs> I'm getting an ice cream from IKEA. I'm just waiting in the queue. Yep. This is the token. Granddad's buying it for you. No. <laughs> 10 pesos, wasn't it? Yeah. Thank you, machine. And at the top. There you go. Mmm, looks nice. Come on then. How is it? Day. It's been a lovely day, very enjoyable. Good to be back in Manila in the city and doing some city mall things. But it is quarter to eight and we've just kind of checked into our room. So I'm going to show you Dad's new setup here. He's just done a new guest suite, so it looks really nice in here. And here we have Grandad's guest room. It's really nice. Double bed. This is the double bed. Yeah. This is the wardrobe. Got Which? the wardrobe, yep. Story's going to do a room tour. Which has a little extra snacks in it. Yeah, Granda got you some snacks, didn't he? Do you want to show them? 
suitcases. Yeah, let's move that out of the way. What were your snacks? Granddad got you some dried strawberries. Very nice. And some nori sheets and some vegetable crisps. And then, oh, yeah. Some water. Nice Please. lamp. Play. <laughs> Two England pillows, yep. England mats, some slippers, and whatever this is. <laughs> that is a laundry basket. And a bin. And it's got a nice kind of, it's a corner room, so you get two windows. There's no AC in this room, but we've got a fan. And, and windows. the windows are open, and there's actually a really nice breeze flower, coming through. Nice presents. What was your present from Granddad? This, yeah. another journal, a notebook, yeah, and another thing, a pen. Nice. Oh, so, Granddad got you that for documenting your trip, didn't he? Yes. Which was a lovely idea. Yeah. We spent quite a while in Mall of Asia today, and Story had lots of fun playing a few of the crane games. I'm excited. I'm so excited because my mummy has got me to some tokens. Wait, no, I can't show. Um, my mummy has got me t tokens for a crane game! Woohoo! Oh. Granddad do it! Granddad go! Gonna We're going to go for this crane game because I think you might be able to knock that one in I'm to the nervous. hole. Don't be nervous! <laughs> right, let's see if Granddad can do it, Story. Uh, when it's in position, you press the button. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. You can't, you have to put another coin in. Not quite. Yeah, okay. Uh, it doesn't grip. Oh. <laughs> so frustrating. We went shoe shopping and Story did find some shoes that she liked in one of the department stores. It was kind of hard to find her size. There was lots that she liked. They didn't have a size that was big enough for her. Size. Yeah. You like those ones? Yeah. Okay. Story's liking the Hello Kitty. The lady's just gone to get the other one. It's difficult to find your size, isn't it? Yeah. My size is 33. 33. But look, she's gone from Hello Kitty flip flops to a Hello Kitty trainer, hopefully. Wait, look. If not, we'll have a look in another store, okay? We don't have to, this is the first one that you've seen, so. Do you like my running pose? What do you think? It's good. Yeah. Hmm? And my size. Ballerina shoes. We're in H&M now. Oh, yeah, they're nice. They okay. look like my size. Yeah, but we've got these ones on right now, which I think we're probably going to get. Look, look so they clothes. feel better than the other ones? Yeah. Okay. Look, look at my feet. Nice. Story also had a lot of fun in Toy Kingdom. Of course, yeah. you can't come to Manila and not go to a toy shop when you have a child. <laughs> she spent some of her pocket money. Yes. Yeah. Just gonna grab a quick coffee before we done some more shopping. But that cafe, very, very lovely. Bit of an Instagrammer, TikToker heaven. Um, but it was baking hot inside and there were no seats. So we have left. We're gonna continue the search. We have stopped. Story's a bit tired, a bit wibbly wobbly. She just had a nap in the car and we're just getting some dinner, early dinner before we head to Dad's. It's weird that day we flew was today. I know, it feels like 
not yesterday. today, doesn't it? It yeah. was yesterday. Because we were up so early, it almost was yesterday, wasn't it? Almost, yeah. <laughs> so this is Dad's little local Japanese oh, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on then, Story. Let's go get some food. This is Dad's local Japanese restaurant. We just enjoyed a very delicious Japanese meal, which is fairly close to where Dad lives, about 20 minutes away. And I had the agadashi tofu. It was really good. And we, me and Story shared some edamame beans and Story had some soup as well. We had the Japanese style tea with our dinner. And Dad and Louise really enjoy this restaurant. They go here a lot. They enjoy the food and it's all just been newly renovated, so it looked really pretty. So now we are set up in Grandad's house. Story was really excited to get out the stuff that we bought today, starting with this. This is Story's new toy. Always have to get a new soft toy. Yep. Yeah. This is my dog's thunder. I mean, toy thunder. Yeah. Yeah. This is my dog's new friend. And then I've got my trainers. My beautiful trainers. Yeah, they're got nice. Stars and rainbows on them. So we got some new kind of matching leggings. Yeah, I went for her things. journey. I went for cozy cat ears. Yeah, so I really cozy liked this scrunchie, and because it was rainbow, and it was in the sale, we got that as well. I've got rainbow hair clips. Rainbow of course. hair clips. Everything has to be rainbow. <laughs> Two cat badges. Yeah, we found these in a really nice craft shop, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. I got one peso. Yeah. Wow. Happy with your purchase? Yeah. So this one, so there's this black one and black and white one, and then there's this one, which is at, which actually looks exactly like my pet cat, Misty, it's my mm. outside pet. Exactly, yeah, Misty. that was a nice find. It was a really nice shop, actually. There's another pin badge. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not a pin badge, it's there. I've got this. Story loves badges. She thought this was really pretty. Some vegan gummy bears. Yeah, we found those in Healthy Options store. I did actually get these for Story to have as a snack while we were out, but we didn't end up eating them, did you? No, it's a snack for, like, when we were cosy up in the bed. Okay. So there's seaweed, olive oil, some seaweed, yeah. The and then the one. thing that you want to open up right now. La, 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 la. <laughs> newborn unicorns. Look, newborn unicorn squad. Yeah. And it so it says it's got magic colour di change diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Story actually had some money to spend that she'd been saving up from, you know, things that people have given her and when she does chores around the house from us, we sometimes give her a few pesos for doing things. So she actually bought her own money to Manila to spend it into a kingdom, and that is exactly what she done. So on that note, we are gonna freshen up a little bit, get into our pajamas, and I'm gonna go and join dad for a cup of tea downstairs. Oh, we also saw Buster quickly. Hello. Oh, he's crazy, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you can smell Poppy. He's <laughs> He was sniffing us like crazy because he can obviously smell Poppy. His best friend. Very cute to see him again. And I think we should go and see what Daddy and Poppy have been up to. Yeah. Excuse the wind noise, guys. On Poppy's morning walk. We survived our first night alone without family. <laughs> I'm trying to let my hair dry in the sun. It is actually really hot out here today and very glary too. But beautiful, beautiful Chargal Island. Never disappoints. I got a picture from Sasha this morning. Story is at the jump park, the jump centre in Venice Mall. So that's going to be fun for her. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder about the global giving campaign about the recycling centre for plastic on the island. Here's a look at the beach this morning. All of this gets washed up in the tide every single day. It's pretty depressing to see it, to be honest. And this is the struggles we face when you live next to the ocean, you really see it. Even if you go down to the coastline here, you can see how much just bits of plastic are in the ocean, washing up and ruining our planet. 
So please check out the link down below for the global giving campaign because we want to restart Shargal's recycling centre so we can take some of this trash, like up to a tonne of trash every month off of these beaches and turn them into useful products and jobs for the local community. All the links are going to be down below. A quick update on that as well. We are in talks with some plastic recycling companies in the mainland that are going to help Sunny and us to just basically do more plastic recycling and put our resources together so if we can get fundraising from the world and we can also bring in some of the bigger players from the rest of the Philippines maybe we can make a difference because this isn't just Shargal's problem this is a global problem we just see it because we're right here on the coastline seeing it all come in every single day so please check out those links and support if you can if you don't have money to give for a donation please just share the video or share the global giving link to someone who might do. I'm gonna do the shout out for today, which goes to UAE Wanderlust Adventures. Huge thank you to you for becoming a member of this channel and supporting our videos. Makes a big difference, allows us to continue making videos for you guys. And it also makes it easier for us to stay in contact with you as well. Poppy looks like she's about done, so I'm gonna take her home. And let's see how this separated mission goes. Let's see what it's like now. We're gonna produce videos from England and from the Philippines for the next few weeks. So hopefully it all goes well and we will see you in the next one. Bye.